Hi there, it's Roscoe here with another PvP pet battle. I'm going to try and run a kind of a fun team using some some nice synergy. Okay, with this team, I imagine that they're going to get the arcane storm up, then go with a, a mana surge. I'm going to start with my dragon. I'm going to just go for the damage here. I'm going to keep spamming it because I expect the, the swap. That hits hard, but then I'm hitting much, much harder here. I kind of hope he doesn't go for the, the kill. I imagine he will. I am going to go for the spirit spikes. Um, and then into the prowl. I'd imagine he's going to put up his nature's ward. He's still going to take a big hit here. Now he is slower. That's still actually fairly good for me, him doing that. As long as this bird doesn't get to uh, its racial, which I really don't think it's going to. So as long as now I don't get a RNG miss here. I'm going to put the, the spirit spikes up, just in case he thinks he can attack. These spirit spikes are, are so so strong when you're quicker than the the opponent. I didn't really get to show how how that team properly works, just because I had the kind of the magic match up. I just went all out for it. You sometimes you need to take kind of take that advantage when you can. Him not swapping out on the terror claw for the the prowl. And actually swapping or changing the damage type advantage to elemental really damaged him then. I, I will queue up again with this team. See if we can perhaps actually have a, a battle where I show how I intend it to work. And it's, it's basically a, a clone, dan clone, clone dance team even. Where I get the temple anomaly up. Just get this team. So I get the temple anomaly up, then the cyclone, swap to Turkey, do his lucky dance, then kind of kind of go from there. Okay, this is a another kind of just a random team almost. If he doesn't start with the cub, I, I may go for the the cyclone or I'm gonna go for the temple anomaly into the cyclone now I'm gonna to swap to Turkey get up the the dance I'm going to go for the stun here. I'm 
which will let me swap to the Berman. And now I'm going to use Spirit Spikes. I'm going to see if I can get the, this combination to work as well. I'm now going to go into the Prowl. If he attacks me, he's literally just going to get one, one shot there. And that is a, a really, really good combination. So I've got something else now due to come in. I believe this is now going to drop off, is it? Or He's probably going to go for the, the dodge if, he, if he's running it. I'm going to swap to Turkey here. And just kind of just take the hit. I'm going to go for the Temple Anomaly. I don't think I'm going to be quicker now. Okay, so it's literally just a... Uh, a coin toss. I'm going to go for the spirit claws. I'm imagining a dodge may come. Now I'll go into to my spirit spikes. If he attacks into it, he's going to take damage. I'm going to go for the, the kill here. Uh, there's, now there's no point me using my my prowl here because it's a magic pet. As long as I can get this hit here now, I should get the win. That probably wasn't played too well by me, but the the strong pet on that team is that Berman especially with the extra speed is really strong and as as you can kind of see the spirit spikes with that 150 percent damage buff if someone hits into it, it it's really going to cause them problems let's go for one more with this i mean hopefully i'm not going to start being countered I mean, that could have been that guy's attempt to counter me there. And the, the Raptor did do well because of its Primal Cry. But luckily it wasn't running like a, a Black claw, claw uh, like the, the Stampede ability that it's got. I'm going to start with my Temple Anomaly. Now I'm going to throw my Cyclone down. Although he's going to have that heal on the, the pets that are actually in the front there, it isn't going to benefit the ones at the back line that um, are going to take be taking these hits. I'm going to, to get my lucky dance up. Hopefully he'll he'll swap to the, the son of Seth. Now I'm gonna go for the stun. To my my Berman. The match with my Berman I really want is against this Crusher. Now whatever he does here, he's gonna take some damage off the the spirit spikes. I'm actually gonna go for the the kill here. And with his hit buff, that's the spirit, uh, the spirit claws are always going to hit. And 
And I think I'm going to start the kind of the cycle all over again. He may bring out the Crusher, which is going to be strong against me. I'm going to use another Temple buff. Temple Anomaly. I'm now going to use Cyclone. I will swap to, to Turkey here. Get the stun out. Now use my, my Lucky Dance to buff the, the Cyclone. I'm just going to, before, before Turkey dies, just get some damage out. Now because the matchup against Crusher isn't very good on this, um, on the infinite hatchling, I am going to see if I can get the, the kill. It is weak against me. Nice proc mark my racial there. I'm go for another hit here. Well, that was strong against me. He has taken damage. I'm going to try and get some a spirit claw hit off. Now to soak his damage, I'm going to use my Spirit Spikes. Into the Prowl. It's not going to do much damage to me here. Now as long as I hit here now, I will get the win. Now that was a closer match, but as you, you saw again there, the Berman with that speed decrease up on the uh, opposing team, the Spirit Spikes there do come into their, their own. We'll just try a, a different team, just try and um, um, mix it up a little bit. I'll run this team, it's called What a Cute Marmot, it's got the boy and Marmot in there. Um, I do like pets with the, the high 341 speed. Um, I have gone for Chomp here and the, the Burrow. Let's join the queue. Uh, because sometimes when you're facing pets that are faster, just going for the, although it's the high low RNG, I, I, on, on this pet anyway, I, I, I prefer it. Okay, I imagine he's probably going to start with the Molten Corgi. It's going to do weak damage against this pet unless he's running Super Bark. Um, so I'll probably go my my Blood Boil. Let's see if I can get a Expunge off. Now, usually what happens is the the Corgi will go, actually go under for with the Puppies of a Flame. Now I'm pretty sure that Burrow actually hits him whilst he's under. I, I will try it out. No, it did. It did miss, so... I'm now going to soak the super bark with my blood boil. I'm going to use drain blood. I'm glad that he brought that HH pet in because it's got uh, a lot more health, so I've got a much larger heal off there.
I am going to swap to the, the Berman here. I'm going to fill up my spirit spikes. Because I can't attack him here, I'm going to use Pal. Hit me quite hard. Now, this... I think it is going to one-shot him. You could swap to... I'll probably swap to the Ghosty Scarlet if I was, if I was this player. I think I am actually going to be able to, to survive this using the, the spirit spikes. He's going to let me get a couple of hits off here. I hope that I don't miss. Now, because I don't want the the, the like the, the coin toss with the blood boil, I'm going to go with the the marmot. The marmot is also going to do strong damage against this ghostly skull. I will pop up the the crouch. It's just going to allow me to just spam away now with my my chomp. This enough for him to actually make any kind of comeback here. And the death coil is actually was actually kind of hampered by the fact I had my crouch up. And now I can just go for the, the chomp. Even if this does kill me, I can bring in the blood ball. It is quicker. Get off the drained blood. See, the only mistake I really made there was with the burrow, but I have seen, um, I'm sure I've seen people, like, it actually hit before, but, it, I mean, it, it didn't, didn't really matter in the end. But yeah, the, the Berman, if you can get that prowl off, and it is quicker, it is really a, a decent, a decent solid pet. I think I was trying with another speed increase with it. Yeah, I tried with the Dazzling Dance on the left shark. This did okay. I might actually give it a go here now. And I also tried with the Leviathan Hatchling because it's got its primal cry. But I have not done well at all with that team, so... That's probably not one I'm going to keep playing, but let's let's try this. I did debate putting a, a cyclone user in this third slot because of the the rain dance. It may be something I perhaps try out or trial but because I've already got this clone clone dance with the Berman. I decided just to use an enchanted boom. It's got the sweep. It can clear things from the, the battlefield, like mines, uh, cyclones, turrets. I think I was playing against a, a cyclone team, and I was just using this. I think I lost in the end because it was uh, an emperor crab versus my left shark, and unfortunately the, the left shark is just that. That bit too powerful for 
powerful. The, the Emperor Crab is a bit too powerful for the left shark to actually beat. Gonna try the quick leave and join tactic. I mean, hopefully the, the queues won't just stop now. It is kind of the, the middle of the day or on a Saturday, so I would have thought there'd be a lot of people potentially queuing up, maybe looking to get their 10 wins or just build towards the, the 5,000 achievement. I have got some other teams using the Berman. This is probably one of the first teams that I made. And it's using the Spirit Claws with a, a Cool Darkness, which isn't that optimal. I mean, this, this team was probably was a bit more inexperienced, so I wasn't 100% sure. As well as kind of running Cool Darkness, Blinding Poison, I've gone for Fist of the Force and Nature's Ward. And poison lash, and it is a, a PB spoutling. I mean, hopefully it'll it'll pop soon, because the the dazzling dance with the Berman is just so effective. is actually quite strong as well with the enchanted boom you're going to be quicker than a terror claw so that batter is going to get that extra hit off but it is weaker against uh, elemental which it will be most of the time with its um, nature's ward racial well, I can just sweep it off potentially the, the battlefield if it's at high health and it has the, the ward up, or um, I want to kind of DPS and get the the other pets down. Because once you've got a, a Terror Claw, perhaps on a, a 2v1, or a, if it's a kind of okay health, and you've got, say, a full health pet, something like the, the Berman especially, it can kind of tank and survive long enough to actually then get a really big hit off. And then the, the Terra Claw is going to be slower, and then you can, can just kind of finish it off and take it take it down. I don't know how they calculate the average wait time, but more often than not, it's it's wrong. But we'll, we'll just have have to kind of wait wait this out. Yeah, I, um, I actually recently found this combination whilst I was doing the um, is the pet battle event last week, and because you can kind of play kind of more fun, easy going teams, I was running the Cursed Berman because I kind of liked the, the abilities it has. I did kind of debate between both the Pounce and the Spirit Claws because of that 80% hit rate. It sometimes is a bit of a kind of kind of concern, but it's, it's working out so far. And I mean, it's still a high hit percent. You are if you're facing kind of your your darkness teams, or if someone's running like a, a stench, that stench ability, it is gonna kind of make it a bit more RNG, and that would be quite a good counter to the the Berman. Which is why in this team I run it that lucky dance, so it's not going to miss and it's going to have a high higher crit chance. It hits harder as well, so I 
I'll try for a couple more minutes, but um, I think maybe the queue has gone dead for a little bit, so it's, it may only have to be a kind of a four battle video. Um, and I'll pop it in the comments that the, the battles finish at X number of time. Cool, right, the, this can be the last battle. There's a lot of um, me just running on in the middle. I'm hoping he's going to start with the, the Valk. I'm going to start with my Enchanted Broom. Oh, I'm just going to sweep him out of the, the, the field here. I'm going to just go for some, some damage off on the idol. Now that he has used Sandstorm, I'm going to go to my left shark. I'm going to rain dance here. And hope for some crits. I mean, it is extra 50%. I want to get him down before he gets that sandstorm up. It's going to have to be its highest to actually get him down. I'm going to go with my Dazzling Dance. Into the, the Rain Dance. See, so, I mean, this, this team is struggling again. I will just go with the Berman because of the the hit buff. It isn't going to miss here. I am going to swap to my Enchanted Boom and hope that he uses the Curse of Doom. And now sweep him out. And whilst I am quicker, I'm going to get some good damage off onto his swap back out, which is probably quite smart. I'll just go for the, the kill here. That is a pretty bad miss. He's going to now probably put the Curse of Doom up. Um, for this round, I'm actually going to put my Spirit Spikes up. Then, hopefully, he can't damage me too much. Can now go for the prowl. Let's see if I can get the hit. Cool. That's uh, another another win. The the Berman there has did really really well. I do hate kind of facing idols because they're just so tanky. They take less damage due to their uh, sandstorm, they've got the RNG stun, and they've got the humanoid racial as well. But yeah, so I think that was 5 from 5, using the, the Cursed Berman, so at the moment the Qs are, are quite good for kind of the, the fun teams. Um, there is a bit of a long gap in this video, uh, I can only apologise for that, I can't, can't control the Qs. But yeah, thank you for, for watching, I'm going to get another video up today if I, I, I can. Um, okay, thank you, bye.